really mean, guys. <laughs> Are you lonely? I'm always alone. And 16 and a half, you know what happened. <laughs> you were 17. Hola, amigos, and welcome to today's video. I'm we're annoyed. talking about Maria's biological clock. It's ticking. <laughs> she knows I hate this topic. She knows. <laughs> Anyways, guys, for today's mukbang. I'm so annoyed. This is good though. They like it when we're sassy. For today's mukbang, I'm going to try... Oh, by the way, I'm not bald. Look at my hair. I'm going to try Twinkies for the very first time. I've never had Twinkies ever in my life. And I know Twinkies are usually cream or white. <laughs> These are brown. <laughs> Orange. Yeah. Orange? Uh, they're brown. Oh. This orange too. Okay, I don't know what's happening with her. <laughs> just let's just let's just like cover mama's face. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try. I'm going it's to try. My, how will she get kids? She hasn't even had a boyfriend yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like. <laughs> when the right one comes, it comes. Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to go out and just? Pick one? Yeah. <laughs> That's not the thing you're supposed to tell your kid, mama. Just don't get married. I just want a grandkid. <laughs> Have you eaten this before? You know, it's been annoying me since 9 a.m. What? I don't know what is <laughs> my thoughts are on this. Mm. It's better than the other one. It's much better. I love this. You love? Mm. The other one tastes very fake. I wanted to try Twinkies, guys. Since I saw the episode on Zoe 101, where her little brother is obsessed with Twinkies. This is super yummy. And he would eat Twinkies. All the time, and I was always wondering what, the, what, 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 what is that? It's because you're so spoiled. I don't know what this is, but today it's like hate Maria Day. <laughs> I think it is like look it up, guys. What date is it? It's currently January twenty fifth. Look it up if it's a holiday, guys, because like earlier today, I spent like I spent like one hour on the ground on the floor. This is actually good. On the floor. In the floor? On the floor. <laughs> I was doing a mood board and sketching and stuff. I know why you're angry. And then <laughs> she, I, I told my mom this cool idea about a DIY. What I was going to do with like four canvases. Tell I was them. going to draw a flag, paint the flag, and then on top put the. Um, I can do that too. <laughs> on top put cutouts of Oregon, the Oregon map and I got so excited because, it's because I love like f flags and maps and anything like about geography and traveling and so I got so excited and then I told my mom about the idea and her face she was like okay I, I will be okay with it if it's the map of the United States it is the map of the United States not just Oregon we don't have... She's been saying the same thing for like five we, hours. We'll order it from Amazon. Silly. She's so... Like, I don't know why. I think it's the Perry. She's really mean, guys. <laughs> like, she's really mean and you have to like... Uh oh You have to like hold back. Because if you get like annoyed with her for real, she will like... I've noticed that like for some time now. Like she's been a bit cranky. A bit angry. It's worse than you know that time of the month. It's like <laughs> times ten. She's scary, guys. She's a Scorpio too, you know. And Scorpios get mad. It's intense. Don't eat that. It's Michael's. Michael has never eaten that. <laughs> you eat this. Can I go? <laughs> I wanted to go out. I wanted to go out. We were watching this it, uh, How It Ends um, film. 
for I wanted to go out, you know, I don't know, I just wanted fresh air. It took my mom one hour. She needed to watch the movie. And then she needed to go to the bathroom. And then she needed to go and eat. Look at my blouse. Isn't it pretty? I don't Some know. I think it's like her passion to, to like annoy me. And then now she has to be like, and you don't have a boyfriend. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> How am I even supposed to get one in this town? <laughs> Two towns. In the Philippines, guys. I love you anyway. It has some aftertaste. <laughs> no, there's not. Can I eat this? Yeah. It has an aftertaste of like um gasoline. I like it. Mm, she likes gasoline. In the Philippines, guys, or I don't know, I feel like it's so easy to get friend zoned in the Philippines. Do you agree, Mama? I don't know, I have I have boyfriends. There too. I have boyfriends everywhere. <laughs> I like guys. Uh, no, I'm not the I always beam. <laughs> I feel like no matter what like I guess this I was scared of you. In Sweden I was too young, so I was like below twelve, so I didn't get one. But like we never even like even when I was twelve, like I had classmates who had boyfriends already and like <laughs> I was like obviously I loved like I loved looking at bo looking at boys and stuff and we got so many like we had so many crashes and everything but it oh, never this, by the way it's this chocolate fudge brownie it never Landing came to ben the point of getting a boyfriend because all of the guys in my class I grew up with them so it would be weird to have them as a boyfriend it would be kind of like it's like my brothers Ugh. But then I moved to the Philippines where they are super conservative, kind of. Where? In the Philippines? Kind of when it comes to boyfriend girlfriends. Like you can't get one until you're in college. <laughs> so, do like. Some get. Um, yes, yeah, some do, but it's like hidden behind the scenes. It's like. Mm -hmm. They hide it, and so I never got one there either because the the people in my mm -hmm. class, the guys in my class, were two years younger mm -hmm. than me. Mm -hmm. And then I moved to Denmark. Mm -hmm. And then I moved to Denmark. Yeah, everyone's a smoker there. Where either they drink too much, they smoke, even if they're just fifteen guys, and or like I never got a friend in Denmark. Really, that's Danish. Because we were just too different, and like I, I, there were some guys who who like would talk to me and stuff, but I was not interested <laughs> because either they they were even they like too boring. How about June? <laughs> We've already told this story, guys. I didn't know that this guy was a girl. Okay, okay, it's old. It's history. I thought that's her taste. I thought she was a guy. <laughs> you know, Koreans, they look like girls. Is she a like guys. Is she Korean? Yeah. Oh. You know, Korean guys, they look like Ken dolls. Oh, doll. Mm. Ken. Right? I went to graphic design, and either the boys in there were like in their 20s. Back then, I was 17. 18 something like that so they were too old for me so then yeah I, how would i get one mama yeah. at the airport <laughs> yeah i'll get you one now <laughs> find me one now and now i'm in the philippines on an island I'm not in the philippines <laughs> no but currently that's where i live and not really you live here six mama months. can you stop annoying me <laughs> Six months here, six months there. And they're on an island, guys, where, yeah, there's tons of tourists. And yes, there are tons of, like, the guys there. It's, it's like more, they're... <sighs> Mama, can you please? I'm sniffing you. Mama. And they're, like, they are all, like, models, okay? But who are they next to? Yeah, they're hot girlfriend. So, where will I get one? <laughs> Are you supposed to just go up to a guy and be like, 
Hi, what's your name? <laughs> you can't be like... You go on tin, tin Tinder? Tinder? T- people go there to hook up only mama. Ew. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I can get a grandkid that way. Ew! <laughs> <clears throat> so... I want a, a baby M. Baby. There's no way. And then when I go to college, everyone will be in their 18 and they will be 18 years old. Either 18 or 50. No. Do you think? I'm Maybe some in their 20s. I'm just going to eat my ice cream. Be single forever. <laughs> Do you think I will actually get a boyfriend one day? <laughs> like, I'm 24 now and I'm like, kind of giving up. <laughs> yeah? Like, will it ever happen? You Do you want? Yeah, but I don't know if it will happen. <laughs> you, you won't. It's not magic. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm saying like yeah. you have to make it happen. I can't just like what do people like go out and like look for them? I'm not the kind like to be like wearing it's like. It's better if you you knew them before. Yeah, it's safe. But the thing is, if uh, usually it's I always like in school I would always like just be friends with them i think it's because i i agree to do the stuff that guys do like i would agree to play you know video games and (laughs) (laughs) oh you had a boyfriend before who the one who's a doctor now he was not my boyfriend (laughs) and we were six didn't they kiss you when are you lonely? Life is hard. Are you lonely? I'm always alone. Love, are you lonely? You want a boyfriend? I'll die I'll alone. I'll get your boyfriend. I, like, sometimes I'm, I'm actually thinking, I will die alone, Mama. Like, I will never get one. You, you think, think I will get one? Yeah. I guess, like, Mama got one and she's like 14. <laughs> yeah, if you don't get one, we go to bank. What is there like bo- boys lined up in there? <laughs> no, but I'll, you'll have a kid alone. Some people have told me it's because I haven't gone to college yet, but I don't think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the type of girl who like wears like short skirts and mm, I don't like acting like a bimbo. <laughs> <laughs> but you wear skirts. Yeah, but I feel like some guys are like so attracted to dumb. Girls, they aren't usually dumb, they just act dumb. Mm -hmm. And I can't handle doing that. I can't handle like, whenever like, I remember in the Philippines, the guys in my class would always be confused by me because I would be girly. But then when we were going down uh, Biak Nabato, it's like a, what's it called? It's like a state, uh, a park, it's a park. And... We were we were going down the rocks and the guys were helping the girls and I'm because I I I was raised in Sweden where girls are quite independent right so when we were going down I was like oh no I don't need any help and I just jumped down the rock and they were like (laughs) (laughs) their eyes became this big and I was so confused because the Filipino girls like my classmates. Because girls in the Philippines, they like to be like uh, very cute with the guys and be like, oh, thank you, and be like that. But I was like, no, I don't need your help. Mm-hmm. I think that needs to be needed. Yeah. But I, I don't like uh, I wouldn't want to pretend. Either. Like, I would ask for help when I think they can help me. If I'm really afraid, then I ask my girl for help like sometimes when I go down you know sometimes I'm afraid but if I'm not afraid at that moment I will pretend like oh babe <laughs> <laughs> like even even because the guys we were with were older than us we were with the fourth uh, seniors when we were there and so they were obviously older than me and was quite cute so I kind of like, I was like, oh, he's cute. But I, for, in my mind, I was like, I would impress him by jumping off the rock. Yeah, if you're a, a boy. If you're not a boy. <laughs> I would impress him because I'm athletic too, you know? Too. Yeah, it's not. But that, that's why. I'm looking for a gay boyfriend. That's why, <laughs> that's why I think they think of me as friends. Mm. 
mm-hmm. you know some people would say like oh he has a crush on you and then i'll be like oh really and then i will do stuff like that and then they become my friends yeah but you, you can't alter yourself either and i wouldn't want to change and be like oh no yeah, because then he would know later yeah so and i won't like you so there's literally no hope Of course, let's hope you're only 24. You told me my clock is ticking. It is starting. Like, after you're 18, it starts to click. Because... 18? No, I mean, just biologically, not mentally, not psychologically. Just physically, because uh, really the ideal age is 25. Next year. (laughs) (laughs) After 25, it's always harder to get pregnant. But I can't do it without a job. No. But that's the biological clock. The psychological to mental. I think. I don't think anyone's mature until 30. But you can't wait until you're 30. Especially guys. They get matured when they're 30? Not really. (laughs) 40. Oh my god. (laughs) Do you think I'll get a boyfriend in Manila? Hopefully not, because how will you live here later? At least I'll get experience. <laughs> no, no. No? No, I mean, because you can't have a boyfriend and then leave him. I'll bring him. Yeah, I'll bring him. You can't do that until you're a citizen and have a job. How will you? But my mom. And then you will never know if he... Became, he got together with you because of you or because of a citizenship? I, won't, I won't tell him until until it's legit. You look half. That's another problem. I think guys are scared of me. <laughs> Everyone's scared of you. Do I look scary, guys? You're serious. But people always tell me I'm so nice. Yeah, nice. <laughs> They're strict. And you're also strict. Also, I mean, you are truly strict, too. People always say that, oh, you're so sweet, when, once they get to know me. Like, I had a classmate, he said um, he said that he thought I would, like, threaten him and be like, and my family is coming after you and say bad words <laughs> and stuff like that. Because he said that I looked like Middle Eastern. And I said, I'm half, that's why. <laughs> and I'm also a bit sassy. But then he he, he liked me after that. He, but the thing is, he's not into girls. <laughs> <laughs> that's a problem too. Paolo? A lot, pa, pa, Paolo. Paolo. A lot of gay guys, they like me. <laughs> <laughs> They're more fun than girls. Because gay guys have a different type of humor. And he would always make me feel like less shy because I, I was back then I was even worse, and so he would always like defend me. They love to defend their girlfriends, like girlfriends, you know, girlfriends. <laughs> so I, I love them. Huh? Are, you, are you seriously worried? You're only twenty-four. You just said. Oh, I'm not worried. Still, it's still like bizarre. No, I'm proud of you. That you Mama. made that. I'm not doing it on purpose. <laughs> I'm not like, I'm going to wait until marriage. I'm not like that. <laughs> but in the Philippines, I wear such like short shorts and short dresses. And guys, they look at me. But they once... know your surname. They won't mess with you. And this one guy said, I don't know if I told you guys this, but he was cute. But the thing is, he's always like walking on the streets. So I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. It's no life, love. Yeah. But he said, like, I was. I don't want that. No, I, I don't want him either. But I was, <laughs> I was walking past him and he said, I was walking with a dog, Newt. <laughs> and he said, I wish I was a dog too. I was like, I was thinking, is that a pickup line? A weird pickup line? Ew, it's like acting submissive now. Like. Ew. And then I, I was Ew. like, <laughs> 50 shades. I just laughed and then I left and I came home to Tita Ging and he said that it was a pickup line. But Ew. I was like, what kind of pickup line is that? I'm like, I wish I was a dog. <laughs> this mukbang is so real, mama. Why? I just poured out. 
my heart and I know I didn't know you were worried people will people will I either was 16 <gasps> and 16 and a half you know what happened <laughs> you were 17 do you think it's my look should I change my look <laughs> leave your honest comments down below I don't care do say whatever you want and I will just delete the ones that hurt me too much <laughs> <laughs> so, subscribe to Mama Scorpia NYD. Mm.